This is a quick video on how to market your cleaning business. In, in this blog, we are focused on churches. So this would be geared for the commercial cleaning business, janitorial, carpet cleaning. In this marketing plan, we are focused on carpet cleaning, but you could just as easily use commercial cleaning or janitorial, windows, upholstery, etc. The point is we want to create a marketing plan for the whole year. Uh, one and done marketing never works. One and done advertising, whether it's uh, television, Facebook, cold calling, it doesn't matter. And that's why in this blog, I have this sample marketing plan and I'm, I'm trying to show how we decided on a target, churches, and now we're going to put together a dedicated marketing plan for the whole year for this prospect. Now, the hard part is in the beginning coming up with who is your ideal prospect, who is your ideal customer. And once you figure out that, they don't have to be perfect. You can have 5, 10, even 15 ideal prospects. But you want to think about who is an ideal prospect for me, for my business, my services, my market. You know, who's a good matchup for us? So we're going to get started and we're going to start with the cover page in the cover page i just included a picture of our brochure that we include with our program methodcleanbiz.com now this is a snapshot of the top part of our carpet cleaning brochure uh, this is a really nice brochure and i would definitely use this as follow-up I've gotten great feedback. It was actually one of the uh, best blogs I've ever had, traffic-wise. So I know people really like this flyer. So to start off, we're going to start off with our objective, uh, or what they call the abstract. We're just giving a general idea. We're just going to talk about a general idea of, of what we're trying to do. Uh, we use phone appointments in this example, which you could just as easily put in door-to-door. -door. Also, we use sales letters and flyers, but those can be replaced with postcards or um, site visits. Uh, there's networking. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. But we focus on phone appointments and then follow up with sales letters and flyers. So the, to start the campaign, we are going to create our description, which is going to be churches with five or more employees. We started with five or more employees. Churches can be tricky because it's hard to judge how big they are. Uh, they use a lot of volunteers. So just because they have five employees, that could still be a medium-sized church if they have a lot of volunteers. So that's just our starting point. You can go smaller, of course, over time. But we started with five at least for this, uh, for this blog. Now our objective, our objective is what are we trying to accomplish? And the first one is A, is a brief 15 to 20 minute estimate. We want to come out and give them an, a carpet cleaning estimate. The second goal is to collect information and qualify interest level. The third is to put them in a category and create a follow-up campaign. So for example, Let's say I speak with a business manager and she says, we've had the same custodian for 20 years. He cleans the carpets a couple times a year. We're happy with that. That's fine. I'm going to put that person in unqualified and follow up maybe once a year. I'm not going to keep calling them three or four times a year because they, they're not going to change something like that. Now, on, a, on, on another uh, Another way to look at it is if you call and somebody has some interest and they ask for information, you know, send us a brochure, you know, email me some information about your company. A lot of people will do that just to qualify you and to see if you're a legit contractor. So then we would put them in qualified leads and create a follow-up campaign. So that that's that's our objective. We want an estimate if we if, if they're not ready for an estimate yet, that's fine. Then we want to call, we want to collect information, find out who the decision maker is, and qualify the interest level. The next is the prospect. 
It's all churches, religious organizations within a 15 mile radius. Uh, we use the word churches, but this applies to synagogue, synagogues and mosques also. This is just uh, common language. It was just easier to talk about it. Geography, we're going to use our shop address and go 15 miles out. The size of the churches, as we stated before, we're going to go with five or more employees to start. As I scroll down, I'm going to go to contact person. The contact person, we want to cold call first and find out who the decision maker is. Now, some of the common titles for a church are going to be office manager, business manager. Business manager is really popular. Uh, the pastor or religious leader title, sometimes uh, a smaller one. The religious leader will handle everything pretty much. They are the business manager. Bigger, bigger ones might have an assistant that, that handles contracts. Also, a uh, facility department. And again, they might have just a maintenance guy might be their facility department, but it could be all of these people. And that's why it's important to first call first and find out who is in charge. Now we went with services offered. We're just focused on carpet cleaning for this blog. As I said earlier, you could change it to whatever you want. The packages next, <clears throat> we're going to sell Packet. We don't just want a one-time service. Uh, that commercial really doesn't work for one-time service. Uh, it's too much work to sell the jobs. So we want to sell a program. And we're going to sell two times a year, four times a year, or monthly. Usually with monthly, it is either a real small one, like two or 3,000 square feet, or it's a larger one, and we break it up into pieces. So let's say it's 10,000 square feet we're going to clean 3,000 square feet a month. That, that would be a monthly program. For a one-time service request, some people just want a one-time service, and that's fine. And one thing we can do is in, include a spot cleaning in six months. So that way, it's really, it gives us a reason to go back out there in six months. The value proposition or slogan we're going to use. The slogan is don't take a leap of faith with your next carpet cleaner. And that's going to be something that that's a headline that we're going to use in all our marketing material. But the value proposition is going to be testimonials from other churches we do business with. Now, you could change this to whatever you want. This is company specific. Your value proposition is what what you're going to highlight to that group of customers. And I went with testimonials that would be, uh, I think, very effective for churches. I, I think they're, they're, they're looking for, for that. A lot of them probably know each other in the same, um, in the same religion, at least. So I think that could be very powerful. The creatives, uh, before we even make one phone call, we want to get all of our creatives set up. So we're going to need a brochure, an email template, a landing page, and a sales letter. Now a landing page can be something that you do later on down the road, but the brochure and the sales letter and the email template are definitely something we want all set up and ready to go. The total number of churches comes out to be 167 for this area. And what, how that comes out is we want to call them three times a year, and then we're going to mail out a flyer or sales letter two times a year. So that's five times we're going to contact them throughout a whole year. When it comes to email, when it's available, we're going to add a quarterly email campaign too. So the, the telemarketing, it comes out to be 501 total phone calls. That's 167 churches times three phone calls a year. We're going to spread them out. So that's every four months. Now the costs. Of course, we always want to know what the costs are going to be. 
So the cost is going to be 500 phone calls. And we figure we can make around 15 per hour. And that's pretty conservative, I think. So that comes out to be 34 hours times $13 an hour. And that equals $442 for the year, for the whole campaign. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> now for direct mail, it's 167 churches mailed two times, and that equals $334. So our total campaign cost is going to be $876. And this is for the whole year. And what will happen is we'll have five total contacts. That's three phone calls and two mailings. Now the return on investment goal is a 1 to 10 over a year. So if this is going to cost us $876, we want to generate at least $8,700 in revenue. Now there's a whole other layer to this. Uh, taking a look at your gross profit, uh, but that's for another discussion on another day. For this campaign, I just want to keep it simple, and we are going to focus on we want at least eight thousand seven hundred for the campaign for the whole year. Now, with commercial, what what's always tricky is there's a lot of anomalies out there. You could make one phone call and get a ten thousand dollar job, but we want to average this out. And over time, um, you'll see start to see patterns. Once you sell 5, 10, 20 programs, you, you, you'll start to see what your average is. Once you take out those anomalies, those really small ones, the really large ones. So I said $1,100 per year. I think that's pretty conservative. I think your average church probably will spend more than that in a year, a lot more than that. Uh, when you or talking about twice a year or four times a year program uh, I think 1100 is pretty conservative so you would need to sell at least eight programs to make this campaign successful based on a thousand per year and this, is, this is just budgeting at a 75 percent closing rate that means we need to schedule around eight appointments that's out of 500 phone calls and 334 mailers sent. And remember, we're repeating. This is only 167 churches, so we're repeating five times to the to the to the same group of people, and that comes out to be around one percent. Which one percent I think is super conservative when you consider we're contacting somebody five times. So that's one percent out of all the contacts. That's not just one percent. You go and, and call 167 times, you might end up with none, and then the second and third time you might end up at like five percent, because that's just how the numbers work. It's never perfect. It never it, it averages out. So this is a sample marketing plan targeting churches, and this is a way to figure it out. I just want to uh, say again how important it is to create a campaign, I mean, not just a one and done, but choose an ideal prospect for you and go through all of these different variables and stick to it throughout a whole year. That's the only way you're going to be successful with commercial or any kind of marketing or advertising, period. You can't just run one television commercial. It just doesn't work like that. You need to run hundreds, if not thousands of them, before you're going to start to see the maximum benefit.